Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you my collection of lip glosses that I had before I started to empty out lip products. And here they all are. Just mind you that these are lip oils, lip glosses, some bombs, not the lipsticks, okay? Not the lipsticks, because I can make a separate video about that. I'm going to start with the oldest one I have. That's the one by Dior. Honestly, honestly, if you wanna get it, Oh, we'll get it, but it's Dior. You're getting the Dior. Why it does not last? The colors that this brand has are beautiful, but they just don't last on the lips. Not the most hydrating, but... Well, it's Dior. It makes you feel special. It makes you feel luxurious, right? It's all about the feeling. The luxury, it's about the feeling. Overall, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Will I buy more? just to probably empty out and see how long it lasts but probably not for myself okay so let's finish the dior story because i have these two bumps 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 what how are they called how are they called wait dear 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 me and luxury dior addict lip glow in 015 cherry and 001 pink Okay, so I have the whole story to tell you about this uh, lip balms. Uh, when I was 14, I believe, years old, this is when these guys came out first. And I think there was only one color, which is 001. I might be mistaken, but anyway. And I remember the formula was incredible. It was juicy, hydrating, long-lasting, left a stain afterwards. Um, had a like minty type of scent to it and tastes a little bit minty as well. I love it. Uh, but this one and this one as well, both colors, <clears throat> they're dry. They don't leave that much of the stain. Like for example, this one, 015 Cherry, I have to wear it for the whole day to have a stain. Comparing, comparing it to Milani Fruit Fetish 120, I have to maybe reapply it three times the most to have like a good stain. These ones just don't do this for me. And they changed, the or changed the formula or something because it's not as hydrating anymore. It's like very chalky, it's very dry. It feels very dry. I remember when I was 14, that was 13 years ago, they were so much more moisturizing. They were so much more like even plumping, hydrating. Like, you know, they gave the magic. These ones don't give the magic. I would not repurchase this one. No. Mm -mm. Let's finish luxury. Hourglass lip treatment oil. So the coolest thing about it, the coolest thing about it is when you're in public, you take it out, you squeeze it out like this, you press here and you put it on, you attract a lot of attention because people are wondering what the is this. It smells like a spa. It tastes like you just licked the spa floor, I don't know, floor of the spa. Sounds weird, I know. It just tastes like spa, okay? In terms of the treatment, I don't, honestly, I haven't seen much of the change. It is very light, it's not glossy. It's like 50 plus dollars, 52, I think. I would not repurchase. And by the way, this one doesn't have any color. Um, they come in five shades. I've had it in a shade Cameo, I believe, Cameo. I didn't like it, I didn't like it, but applicator feels very nice. But even the clear one, I'll skip. I've had this guy for a while, um, just because I didn't use it much. <laughs> That's the one by Fenty Beauty. Um, this is where I lip gloss, but in a small size. Honestly, I love it. It is more moisturizing than the Dior's one right here, but it's also not long lasting. Looks beautiful. That's it, tastes nice. Will I buy the full amount, the full size? Uh, yes. Do you see how long it lasts? Yes. But for myself, I don't know. I don't know. If they come out with something interesting, I think I will. But I don't think this is the most sensational lip gloss out there, to be honest. My honest opinion. My personal favorite, that's the Buxom. Buxom, Buxom. Honestly, they say they're plumping. They don't plumb, at least on me, they don't plumb, but they feel nice and mint on the lips. My favorite color is this one. I believe that's the hot toddy. Toddy, toddy, toddy. You get it? Guys, this is my like 12th 
bottle by this point. I'm emptying them out all the time. This one is amazing. It's not the most hydrating. It's long lasting. It has pigment. If you like something juicier and more plumping, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, but you get a beautiful finish and amazing color. I also have it in the color Dolly right here, which is like a very light pink, cold pink. It's nice. It's nice, but if you want to own the buxom lip gloss and you have plus or minus my skin tone, go for Hot Toddy. It's amazing. Okay, I made a video about this one. That's the plumping by Too Faced. So I told you that I had an allergy on this. I just had a small allergic breakdown with this one. Um, I just basically get red all over my face. It got red like around my lips. So I'm trying to be very careful with it. But honestly, I do see a plumping effect. It feels like somebody is just punching you with small tiny needles for the first five minutes. But it's worth it. It's nice. Just if you have allergy, be careful, okay? Be careful, but it's nice. And by the way, by the way, to add, you don't see much color. With this one, we see... I don't know what's the color, but you see it's like this pinkish type of holographic situation. You see that. We all know that. We all know that. Milani fruit fetish. I have emptied out three of this. This is the color 120. I think it is strawberry melon. It is beautiful. And listen, listen to me, only strawberry melon, the color 120, will leave a beautiful lip stain afterwards. I've had it in, uh, I think, yellow one, I forgot what's the name of it, and I've had it in like a cold, mauve type of situation, pinkish situation. Um, they did not leave the stain, including um, the cherry lime one, 140. This guy also didn't leave any stain. Looks beautiful on the lips, tastes amazing. It is not the most long lasting, but it just feels like a whipped cream in a good way, in a good way, on your lips. Very hydrating, not long lasting. But listen, 120 will leave a stain and it runs out fast. So you make your own choice, you pay your buck where you wanna pay it. But I think this one is worth it. I am about to surprise you. You know why? Because I have the cheapest, most affordable lip oil out there and it's why it's sweet and shimmer in a color like that lilac type of color. I think they have another one. This is so good. This is a very good lip oil. It's $2.99. You can get it in Ulta. I love it. It smells like a little bit like coconut glides on the lips beautifully. The applicator though, it's a bit stiff. It's just like a very, it's very solid, it's very hard, but to be honest, for the price and for the quality of this product, I don't mind it. I really don't mind it, it's worth it. Very nice, super nice, highly recommending this one. Laneige lip balm, and I will also do the Laneige lip mask. I'll keep it short. Love this, don't love this. This one is in a grapefruit. It's beautiful for summer. You guys, if you are looking for a lip balm with a more gloss-like texture and finish, go for this one. It's hydrating. The scent of grapefruit is so refreshing and I like that it's not lemon or orange. It's something different. It's something fresher. It's newer. I love it. This one, amazing. I don't get this. I don't, I don't understand this. First of all, all of the Laneige lip masks are very scented, but I got mine in Sweet Candy. I don't feel it very much in my lips. Like I can't taste it, which I'm happy about because it smells, it's strong. Like it smells like a candy store, really. It is very strong. See, I've used a little bit. And it's very heavy. I get it. It's a night mask. So you put something heavy on your lips and you just go to bed. It's not my thing. I like something that is much more lighter on my lips. I know, I'm weird. Another thing. So I've had that, how you call it, the Australian brand Pow Pow, something I might insert a picture here. It's like a balm that you can use on your lips, on your cuticles, on your dry 
feet anywhere in the body on like dry spots whatever like little bit this one i can't imagine using it on my cuticles i can't imagine you <laughs> using it on my like dry areas i just don't it's very sticky like it's sticky so you get all this product that you can i mean you can use it of course but you can really only use it on your lips like i don't think it's it's worth it i really don't get the hype about it so much let me get to the nyx's lip oils the fat lip oils i'll keep it short i did the review about it i emptied out one love this too especially this one let me just read you the color this one is that's cheek that's the color of that's cheek this is so good i love the color i love that shade it just blends beautifully very pigmented that one is also nice by the way what's the color um uh, mist glow don't like this one you know why i think i think all this glitter made the consistency just like a very spotty chalk like it's not moisturizing i kind of feel like it's scratching my lips and doesn't give a lot of color either like I would skip this one and if i would be you i would just get this too by getting to the end elf glow reviver i have them in two shades i have the rose envy and something the berry gem no gem session i'm gonna show you something i was expecting this one to be really pigmented not very much but more pigmented than i expected because look at that by the way, I think on the camera it's just very pigmented, but in real life it's not as bright, it's more subtle. It's nice, I just expected it to be a little bit more interesting in terms of pigment. I put it on for one reason, one reason only, because I have this guy right here. That's the Sephora lip gloss, let me get you the color, Struts 05. So this one can be used as a lip gloss alone can be used as a lip topper on top of lip stain, lipstick, and so on and so forth. But feel free to top your lip oils and your lip glosses with this guy. Just watch that. Like, do you see how beautiful is that? By itself, it is very bright. You can like literally see the glitters. If you like it, go for it. But feel free to mix this guy with your lip oils and other lip glosses because look at that. It is more sheer, it just adds that little statement. It's amazing, it's, it's beautiful, look. It is beautiful and super easy to use on the go, like for example, you're walking somewhere, on top, that's it. That's how I show how I put on my lipsticks. This is now, now you know, now you know why I use so much, because I do it on the go all the time. And you guys, here they all are. Many of you have asked me to show you my collection before I start to empty out lip products. I do my best to use them between I'm emptying out one lip oil or another lip gloss or whatnot, but some of them are still very full. The main message I want to tell you is that don't be afraid to layer your lip products, to experiment with your lip products, like with this one, right? You can layer it on your lip oils and lip glosses as well. Like this is so... That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. I'm going to show you this in a different direction. That's amazing. And let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to do the same thing, but with my lipsticks and lip stains. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, day, breakfast, dinner, whatever you are having. I'll see you next time.